Hello everyone, and welcome to The Messenger. So this is a game that I've actually played about halfway through. Uh, what's cool about this game is that it is an 8-bit uh, side-scroller like platformer game, but uh, eventually it be there's like time travel and you go into like 16-bit, and then like halfway through it turns from like a level by level platformer to into like a metroidvania with a open map and that's kind of where i stopped playing so uh i'm excited to get back into that and to uh kind of explore the rest of the place because there's like a lot of places when you're going through the first time that you can't get to until you have like items and upgrades and stuff that you can come back to later and i haven't done a bunch of that stuff i haven't finished the game so i figured i would uh, do a let's play on the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll do a new game. We'll just go with Mr. Griffin. There we go. Perfect amount of uh, Characters. That's the name. Another day and still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this and magic scroll that. Nothing's happened in centuries, so why are we still hiding? I, w uh, I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Oh, great. Another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Alright, and we're off. Kind of. It's a little tutorial area I think we gotta do first, and then we start the game proper. Right on, time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, when you hit stuff, you can get a, a jump off of it, which makes combat kind of crazy. So you can jump off of stuff as much as you want to. It's a really cool mechanic. Well, look who's decided to grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is brought in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you, but let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real, and should they... They have returned. This is all wrong. The western hero is supposed to save us. All right. Don't go. You you are not ready. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Are you really all they've got? Pathetic. Prepare to die. That sound impossible. It seems luck is with you this day. Barmathazel. That, that guy is Barmathazel. Alright. Count your blessings, Ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the Autumn Hills. Are you the Western hero? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak Summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you, and why is this scroll important? 
You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. You got the scroll? You have been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across the cursed world. And so the journey begins. music in this game is fantastic. Alright, off we go. Let's make sure we collect all the monies. Oh. Walked right into that. One of the first things that we're going to want to do when we can eventually upgrade is buy the ability to cloud step off of projectiles. It makes the game so much easier. I really wish I would have saved this uh, playthrough for when uh, I had my YouTube channel. It would have been better if this whole thing was blind, but at least half of it will be. Alright, so this is the shop. The mysterious shopkeeper. This guy's great. Oh, the messenger! I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyways, so I'm this mythic, uh, this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take this scroll to the top of the faraway mountain where three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order, slow down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. Look, just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one is on the house. Enjoy got the climbing claws. Press against walls while airborne to stick to them. Need anything? Upgrade. Can I upgrade anything? Uh, strike of the ninja, attack enemy projectiles. That's 40. Uh, plus one HP. We're gonna, first thing we're gonna get is strike of the ninja. Absolutely. Uh, let's chat. So, climbing claws. Oh yeah, you can press against walls to cling to them and climb at your leisure. Makes sense. The way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Guyden invented them decades ago. Who's John Guyden? Never mind, just an acknowledgement I needed to get out of the way. I don't get it. Some will. Uh, what is this place? Seriously though, where are we? Curious, are we? In time, you will come to realize that the question is not where, but when. That's it? Listen, I know you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. Wouldn't you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Kids these days. Uh, any stories? Do you have any stories you want to share? Of course, here's one for you. There was once a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came where his master asked him to read something for her, to which he replied, I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. So he went out in the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned uh, he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in this small town, so he opened his own. It really picked up, so he built many more and became rich in the process. One day, his accountant asked him to review a piece of document to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said, If you became a millionaire without even knowing how to read, just imagine where you would be if you could read. Oh, I know exactly where I would be, the rich man replied. I would be a servant. The end. What? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't. You asked for a story. 
More like the long version of when life gives you lemons. Alright, since you don't seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. I guess that's it. Uh, please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you, the cabinet is off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. You think you can just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place? There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put that curiosity to go to use in the outside world and maybe, I don't know, save humanity? If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. This is your last warning. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to touch that again. You asked for it, don't say I didn't warn you. You know, it gets pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. The one thing that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked the code. You see, everyone has goals, so you think, oh, when I have this, I'll be happy, or when I achieve that, I'll feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply have devol uh, others simply hope Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, I've come to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future, to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail, because once you reach your goal, you're not the same person as you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state. It's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry-pick the people around you. So that every day, you're just stoked to live your own life and you don't need to defer any joys because you optimize the present moment. Now, I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life, and that implies you stop trying to open my cabinet, so I really hope I bored you to death. You should see what I did to the last traveler. Who got nosy? Heh. <laughs> Please don't touch the cabinet. Is it just looping now? Yeah, it is. Okay. Sorry, I feel like I have to get every single piece of dialogue. I've already seen a lot of it, but I feel like I definitely missed a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of hidden places for dialogue, and I want to find all of it because I find that I personally find the dialogue to be hilarious. So. Some people might not have that opinion, but it's my opinion that this game is really hilarious, and I... I mean, even though I'd seen that closet dialogue before, it's still funny. I still enjoy it. And maybe somebody watching hasn't experienced it yet, and will enjoy it also. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get all the dialogue. I hope that doesn't annoy too many people. I'm also about to die. I need to be more careful. Uh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, a new customer. What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name is Corble. Corble? At your service, I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So, whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the last checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. So, I'll stick around to steal your loot until we're either we're even or I'm bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. It seems we have a deal. Glad we see eye to eye. Carry on. So this little guy, this little, this little demon dude, uh, basically the death system in this game 
just prevents you from recollecting all the same money over and over again. That's really his only purpose. You don't really miss out on, like, a whole lot of uh, money because of him. You just kind of can't collect this the one. You can't farm by dying and collecting the same stuff over and over. Um, it, it does keep track. So every now and then, like, when you die, he'll tell you, like, how much money he's collected over time. Which could, does kind of make you feel bad. But at the same time, uh, it's really just money that you that you have already collected that you're, it's not letting you collect again. It's just that the higher that number is, the more times you die. And get ready, because I die a lot. I'm definitely not that great at games, particularly 2D ones. So, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. But I am gonna die a lot. So, I'll do my best to edit out most of the deaths if it gets, like, super tedious at certain points. But if it only takes me a couple of tries, I'll just keep the whole thing in. Oh, God. Okay. Gotta be more careful. Checkpoint. Alright. Moving through this first level pretty quick. Oh yeah, I love that. The, the music gets muffled when you go in the water. I think that's brilliant. Got a little scoop pack on, little oxygen tank. Alright. It has been some time since I played this game, so I don't really super remember like all of the levels. Uh so it's not it's not like I know the game inside and out or anything. It's just I've had played it once a while ago. Uh, and it, I only finished half. I already said that. But yeah, it's like it's not like I have like super in-depth knowledge of the game. Or anything like that. This first level is pretty easy, though. It gets way harder. Like, at the second level. Like, it's... I do remember that. I remember having a lot more trouble on second level and particularly the third level i remember being harder than even the fourth one and i don't actually even remember for sure how many levels there were definitely more than four i think uh i guess we'll see down to one health cool okay well we've got a checkpoint let's see if i can buy any more upgrades Upgrade. Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, energy sure can range attack. Uh, plus one HP. That might be very helpful. And second wind is X while being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. I think for the moment, uh, while it's still early game, we're just going to go with a health upgrade. And nothing, nothing else to chat about? No. All right. I get a oh I can. I can get a jump off of these. Huh. Cool. Well, that didn't work out like I wanted. I took a hit there. Moving right along. Fuck. Uh-oh. Like, right after I said that, oh yeah, this level's easy. Yeah, okay. I'm 
Maybe not as much as I thought. Alright. I wish I could do a downward attack. I'm playing Hollow Knight, and that's like, that game's got a downward attack, so it makes me kind of want to, like, by instinct, it makes me want to attack the same way as in Hollow Knight, but it's not the same. Playing both of these at the same time might kind of not be a smart idea. I'm going to do it anyway, but I'm definitely going to get the controls flipped around in my head for the two different games, just because they're both, like, 2D side-scroller platform kind of games. I mean, they're, I mean, yeah, they're both 2D side-scroller, like, Metroidvania style. So, I'm definitely going to get the control schemes switched around. That's fine. No! Okay, got him. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Checkpoint. Didn't restore my health, though. I guess I don't have to kill all the guys. I'm gonna make it a little easier if I just go past. But I want the monies from them. Hmm. Oh, goodness. Oh, he can just throw that right at me. He can just angle it to wherever I'm at. It just, it's not a random pattern. Okay, that's good to know. And he won't turn around on the ledge. That's good to know as well. Do you only get one money from the enemies? Yeah, seems like it. 129? No, 131. It's not just one. Oops. Okay, gotta be extra careful here, because I only got one more hit left. Let's just let these guys fall. That's one thing I forgot about this game, the enemies respawn when they go out of frame. Can I get a checkpoint or a health potion, please? That would be fantastic. Well, there's death number two. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Nope. Fuck! Well, there's death number three. If someone's watching, you can pretend there was an input lag. Yeah, uh... Totally. It was, it was input lag. It wasn't... Couldn't possibly have been me. Alright. It's for real this time. Got him. Alright. Just gotta be extra careful, that's all. Careful and cautious. Careful and cautious is the name of the game. Well, actually, Messenger is the name of the game, but you know what I meant. Cool. There's just enough space between the checkpoints to make it a bit challenging at points, but never, like, entirely frustrating. Which is nice. I feel like that's one thing that the developers did very well in this game, is uh, checkpoint placement. Of course, I can only speak to the first half of the game. But you already knew that. Alright, can we actually get past this part now? If I've been up here? Is there another... Nope, not a checkpoint yet. It really feels like there should be, though, doesn't there? Like, it feels like I've... 
I'm gone a good amount of time. It's gotta be coming up. There we go. Alright. Uh, can I buy anything else? Upgrade. Ooh, we can chat with him again. Okay, uh, second wind. We're gonna get the energy jerkin. Uh, let's chat. Level boss. Okay, time for a boss fight. Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. Did I forget to mention that there's a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? You did. Haha, <laughs> that look on your face. Don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. Oh, is it a full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's... I didn't mean to. Well, good luck. Alright, I guess we're doing the boss. Let's... Oh, did I buy the thing? Or do I still have 144 left? Okay, yeah, I can get second win too. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's just upgrade as much as we can before this boss fight. And we will hopefully first try this bitch. Here we go, boss number one. Oh. Alright, that's the trick. Oh, shit. Is he coming down here? Yep. And one more hit and I'm dead, so we're definitely not first trying it. That was... Yep. What was I thinking? Yeah, 50 time shards he's collected so far. Yeah, it's because I suck. That's okay. I'm really trying to beat this boss before I close out the episode. Fuck, man. Can I just duck under that shit? Totally. Okay, that's the plan. Duck it. Okay, now he's gonna go down and jump. And jump. Alright, he's gonna come down here. Do thing. Duck. And hit, 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 duck. Got it. And he's gonna do the thing. We're gonna jump. And jump. And he's gonna come back down here. Yep. Oh, and we're gonna duck. 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 And hit, 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 duck. Alright, now he's gonna do this again. Okay, this isn't so bad. He's only got, like, two moves. Got him. Victory! Alright, and that was level one. On to Forlorn Temple, I guess. Oh, right, 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 okay. Well, this is where we're going to leave off episode one. Thank you very much for joining me on my replay of The Messenger. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, it would help me out, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.